Hey everyone, uh, this is Easton here. We are going to be doing our August, no, yes, our August staff picks. Wow, it's August already. Um, so we're excited. We have fall stuff rolling in now, so uh, everyone at the shop is kind of getting ready for fall, and uh, I think most of our pieces uh, that we've all chosen, me, Chase, and Ian, are going to mainly be fall pieces. So we're excited, and uh, yeah, we hope you guys like what we chose. So for me, uh, my outfit is based around this Marnie trouser that we just got in. Um, it's like a houndstooth check with a uh, black and gray pattern. Um, I'm taking it in a 48. I actually just purchased these myself. I love the fit of them. Um, for me, being a bit taller, like the leg is long enough where um, on a dress shoe, which is I'm going to be wearing a Doc Martin, it hits the kind of base of the shoe in a really, I think, pretty way for me. Um, so I really like the length of these. I'm probably going to remove the shoestring waistband. Um, it's just not really my style, but what I'm getting these for and why I love them so much is because the fit is incredible. The cut of, of the pant is really great, um, and it's 100% wool uh, outer, so it's also going to be great for winter um, and the fall months. So um, I like the classic houndstooth look, but instead of the more traditional browns that you might get in a pattern like that, they went with the black and gray, which I think is pretty sleek. And um, yeah, I really love these pants. So. That's what I'm going to do for the pants, and that was kind of what the outfit was based on. And then underneath that, or underneath that, I will be wearing not a shirt. <laughs> I will be wearing uh, on top a Canoe Club uh, Oxford. I took a XL. Um, I would maybe size down, but right now we're a little low on stock. Uh, but I really love our Oxfords, especially the white and the uh, chambray in particular. Uh, but this one's going to go underneath a Orslo um, denim jacket. Uh, I think this is the coverall, uh, I believe. Did I get that right? I did, cool. 40s coverall, so they wore these in the 1940s and uh, I'm gonna wear one uh, here in 2021. Uh, it's a, this beautiful rich blue, uh, which I think will complement the white of the shirt obviously quite well, but also the uh, pants. So again, with this being the focal point, I wanted everything else to be um, Simple enough that we're not taking away from the pants, uh, but I also didn't want to be too casual with things, so I thought the denim jacket with the white shirt underneath is gonna go great. I took a size two in the Orslo jacket. They run a little big, uh, so um, I think stay true to size for fit purposes. It's not really intended to be super, super tight as a denim jacket, um, and for that reason, I just took my normal size. Uh, with the shirt being a little bit bigger, I think those dimensions will play well. And then the, the last thing that I will be wearing is the uh, Doc Martin 1461, I think. Uh, it's just a Oxford dress shoe um, in their black leather with the yellow stitching. Again, I think that the pant is going to look really pretty with a black dress shoe. That's how I'm intending to wear uh, these pants um, in my own wardrobe, is either with a black or a brown dress shoe. Uh, again, I think it's just an elegant, beautiful look. And um, for us in the shop, I think this is my favorite kind of dressier shoe that we might have. Uh, so yeah, that's the reason for choosing that. I'm wearing a size 10. Um, you can more or less stay true to size in their stuff. Um, and most people who have Doc Martens are aware of that sizing. But um, yeah, so that's the outfit. Uh, I'm really excited for the next few months, especially for choosing outfits. Um, I've been wearing enough colored t-shirts and I'm ready for something a little different. So uh, yeah, we're gonna put that on see how it looks and that'll be uh, my outfit for August so thanks
so starting off, um, I went with another fit that I think at this point everyone's gonna recognize as a very much like chase fit. Starting off with like engineered garments and some olive pants. Uh, so I'm gonna start up top. The Explorer shirt from EG. Um, I'm not gonna say slept on, but I think people overlook it as maybe being like a little too loud. We've got, looks like five pockets on the front, a couple on the sleeves and a couple on the back. So we're nearing 10 pockets on this piece. Um, you can definitely find stuff to put in it. Trinkets, gems, valuables, snacks, whatever. Whatever you might need, there's a lot of room. What kind of snacks? Baby Bell cheeses, Slim Jims, small packs of potato chips that you didn't finish, you balled up and put in your pockets. So yeah, it's just good, really functional piece. Something you need to have in your wardrobe, especially if you consider yourself a snacker. Um, underneath that, we've got the Bone Tee from Lady White. Um, actually my new favorite Lady White tee. I used to wear just like strictly only the white ones. I started to mix it up. I think the bone's really cool. Uh, a little bit less contrast against other earth tones. So I think it works well with that, which we've got here. Down low, the Army New Yorkers from Orslo. Mm, I think I slept on this pant in particular, like personally for a couple years, but got these ones in. Uh, I snagged the olive and I also got the black before they sold out. Again, great fitting pant, feels good on the waist, kind of a taper from the knee down, but like plenty of room up top. So feels kind of like a, like a climbing pant almost. Um, and you know we rock climb in Colorado, so that's a, that's a great pant to have here. But yeah, I've rock climbed in a gym once in Colorado and then I rock climb outside, but like sands all of the gear. I just like do it my friends so what does that mean? <laughs> I, don't, I mean i'm saying i don't like buy the gear i don't like rock climbing shoes and like ropes i'll just like well, just scramble up and go back down the other side i don't nothing too nothing too dangerous like a mountain goat like a mountain goat <laughs> and then anyway we got the new yorker lastly the slouchy from hender scheme this is in the already like worn in dark brown version um, I believe what they're going for is if you wore them every day for around like a year or two years, kind of oiled and treated them, it would ultimately patina to that. So yeah, that's my staff pick. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and toss it on and we're gonna see how she looks. Probably gonna look pretty tight. So for my outfit, I went for kind of like a grout fit. Everybody loves a good grout fit, right? Uh, so the I think I'll start with the most important piece. Are these New Balance 2002 R's, the protection pack in the phantom colorway. Uh, these shoes are just super cool. Um, I know they're really hot. People are really trying to get their hands on these. I'm glad I got myself a pair. Uh, it's got like this cool, like distressed, overlaying suede. Uh, it, it's just a really unique, I, I think, style um, that I've never really seen before. And I think that New Balance killed it. It's a really cool shoe. Looks good with pants, shorts. You know, you can make it look athletic or you can kind of spaz, uh, snazz it up a little bit. Um, all right, not spaz. We're not spazzing out. <laughs> if you want to spaz, go crazy. Um, this next piece, is the Capital Jumbo um, crew neck sweatshirt with the bone imaging imagery on the back. Um, it comes in this cool like um, faded purple and then black on the front. So I really liked the dual colors on this. Um, I always talk about bones. I don't need to hit on that again. You guys know I like those. 
Um, but I just really enjoy the washed um, shades on this sweatshirt. It looks like it's been worn, you know? It's been loved and um, it's ready for someone else to love. And let's see. The next piece is the staple, I would say, of this outfit. The Orslo 107s in the uh, stone wash. Um, I know I've picked these a couple times, whether it's staff picks or pick a fit. I really love these jeans, just a classic colorway. Um, and I think it really goes well with the washed look of the sweatshirt. And I think all together, we're gonna get a nice, stylish outfit.